every nigga to the money like a bum fucker. Like a bum fucker. Like a bum fucker. Every nigga to the money like a bum fucker. Like a bum fucker. Yeah. Bitches always on some bummy shit, that shit getting old Knock them down like some dice, sit back, watch it unfold I ain't fucking with them bitches cause them bitches get Alright you guys, so right now I'm gonna be doing a fringe bang kind of wig situation And I have some leftover bundles that are gonna help me have my wig kind of be long So I'm gonna just put these bundles in here to make this wig fuller but the reason why I'm using this wig, one, it's an older wig. The hair quality isn't too bad, but look at the sides. It doesn't give me much room to play with the way this wig is constructed. It might as well be a closure wig. So that's why I'm going to use this one specifically for that. So today, we're missing one. Oh, no, no. So today, I have two jet blacks and a blue black because I learned from Slave by Jordan that this is the best way to do this when you um, are trying to get jet black. So, yeah. I might not dye this because this is looking like it's going to be fine. It's already shiny. Looking shiny right now. So, I'm going to really focus on this right here. Alright, you guys. So, y'all know this video is pretty much going to be straight to the point. But, you know, I got to come on here and give y'all my little commentary or whatever. So, yes. This is an old, old wig, y'all. And, like I said, I'm taking tracks from the other wig that I showed y'all in the beginning clip. And I'm going to merge them together and make it a real long, bang wig. Okay? So, right now, I'm about to do some watercolor. And I'm using those two colors I showed you. Jet Black and Royal Navy. Or that Blue Bat. And, not Blue Bat. Blue Bat. <laughs> A blue black color and I'm gonna merge them too and water color the wig get any color on your lace my friend kiana told me go ahead and use dawn dish soap but i tried this other dish soap we had at the crib and it, it did a little bit but it didn't give what it was supposed to give but it don't matter anyway because your lace gonna be hidden you can put foundation powder lace tint on it or whatever to make it work y'all will see later okay <laughs> Right now, I'm about to just help comb the wig out my face so I can lay it down real quick. Not on my face, but out of the way. And because I know I'm not going to leave this wig for too long, and I need to give my skin a break, as y'all can see. This time around, um, I didn't do this past install with lace protectant or skin protectant. I forgot, y'all, to put it on, so it, like, you know, damaged my skin. My skin is really sensitive to these glues. And when Kiana just did that copper orange color on me, she used bow hold, and my skin don't do bow hold. We don't do that over here no more. So, um, yeah, we don't do bow hold. Goes by only Erica J and their skin protectant. Shout out to Slave by Jordan who put me on to it. So right now, because I'm gonna be switching my wigs more often, I am using my got to be sprays and glues again. Just wanna give my skin a little bit of a break from those strong ass lace glues even though they do be melting the wig and keeping it on for long. So right now I don't plan on being outside anywhere for real, sweating off my wig. So we going back to the usual, okay? Very cool.
guys so right now i'm just gonna go ahead and straighten the hair pretty self-explanatory like i said when i get to the banging part it's nothing really for me to explain just kind of watch how i do it eyeball it and then cut as you go when i was holding it though it wasn't really cut and i had to let it go and just let the hair do what it do and yeah and then i want to proceed to add a slight bump to it and then at the end, you're gonna see me glue some hair on my ball swap. Cause like I said, y'all, this is an old wig. So I had to finesse. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know if y'all wanna see more wig revamps, transformation, and I will see you on the next one. this technique y'all did you guys see how abby nicole finessed this part i'm talking like in person you had to see it it was giving scalp and the bangs the bangs had volume i mean where were they going i just love it y'all like literally this is one of those natural effortless looks and it's a practice protective style for your edges and your leave out if you still do that but i i gotta say like literally it was giving all the way scalp like where where see that effort effortless